Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donskoy. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Turepko, and, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are, Games of Love, early morning Games of Love, isn't it, JG? How are you doing this morning, bright and early? <laughs> Mate, to be fair, I'm actually full of life. I thought I'd be like more dead. Uh, I woke up quite dead, but uh, no, I'm really excited for this match. I think it's going to be an epic one. Uh, obviously, so much at stake for both players. We said it yesterday, Sabalenka has the chance to go number seven in the world, which will be brilliant for Australian Open. Um she will be a higher seed for that tournament. And then obviously, it's um, Kuda Matava's first final. Yeah, mate, we've been singing that song the whole way through. Kuda Matava. That well, you are high, I <laughs> Yeah, so sort of meant no worries for her, getting her way through the draw. Uh, and she's sort of done it in style. I mean, I'm going to bring up just now, just so that we can see uh their sort of path to the final yeah here we go just bring this up quickly and you can see down here uh she obviously took out uh in impressive fashion a net contavit in there in the first uh first round and then yeah. uh against tarati who uh, you expect her to beat her to be yeah. honest uh but uh but still a qualifier she's already won a few matches sometimes it's a bit tricky these qualifiers they've got a bit of momentum so that's what i'm saying it's these two players i know they're not the two players you'd have expected to be to the final. Well, Sabalenka you would, but not Kuda Matava from that side of the draw. Um, but she deserves it. She has been phenomenal and she has played some good players. If you just go down to Sorry, her, yeah. we'll have a look yeah. where she started. Contavi, that was the first one. Uh, she, was a, she wasn't a she was a favourite for that. Uh, underdog. And that was just really good. Then beat the qualifier. Badoza, who was playing well. Svitolina, yeah. obviously the second seed. Then Kostiuk, who's been taking out everyone, it seems, on the, on the bottom side of the draw. And now she gets the final she deserves against probably, arguably, the, the best tennis player on the women's side right now. I know you've got Barty's not playing, Andreescu's not here, Serena Williams. You've got, obviously, Osaka as well. Um, but she is right up there, Savalenka, right now. And she's dangerous. Yeah, well, mate, she is the the most dangerous, I would call her, uh, on the women's tour right now. Uh, it's really interesting, this one, obviously, because Sabalenka, she is on an unbeaten streak at the moment where she's uh, won her last two tournaments she entered. This is going to make it three in a row for her, which oh, yeah. would be pretty incredible. And this is Kuda Matova's uh, first attempt at trying to get a uh, an event. Uh, so she's, she's going to be looking to just grab it at the first attempt and... Uh, Sabalenka, you can have a tougher opposition, really. But look at, look at Sabalenka. She only sort of came unstuck a little bit against uh, Elena Rybakina, who, well, as we said, uh, five finals uh, or, or maybe six finals last year. Yeah. So really, really tough uh, opposition uh, she's come up against, and she's done it in style. And there you go. She's in another final, three in a row. And... Uh, I'm expecting this to go all the way, to be honest, mate. And I think she's going to make it uh, three tournament wins. Yeah, I said yesterday, didn't I? If you've not checked that out, check out our final preview so you can see what we think uh, is going to happen today. We also had, obviously, we didn't know what happened with Delray Beach. That happened during the night while we were sleeping. Yep. And that is Sebastian Corda went for hey. a straight set. So that's good. We're going to have a Corda her cast final. Uh, yeah. We'll be covering that later today, 8 p.m. Uh, hopefully more of you can join us. I know there's not going to be many people today, uh, but for those who are with us right now, we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, Delray Beach, that's probably a lot better time for a lot more people, and that'll be 8 o'clock. We'll be definitely doing a live watch along for that too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, thanks for everybody who has joined us for this one. If you are watching and uh, you want to jump in the live chat, then uh, yeah, send us a message. Let us know what you think the score is going to be in this one. Do you think it's going to be a Sabalenka whitewash? Or do you think uh, we're going to see Kuda Matova uh, turn over Sabalenka? She just looks unstoppable. I mean, uh, both players, yeah, they're probably the two best hardcore players. So we were saying in yesterday's pod, like she's won 12 of the last 14 matches, Kuda Matova, on hardcore. Yeah. So 
which is uh, of high stock. And uh, I think they're just going out onto court to, uh, to start now, JG. Yeah, nice one. So I'll stick with my prediction from yesterday. For those who don't know, it was Sabalenka to win this match. Uh, I reckon she's going to do it in three sets. I know you went with, I might as well say your one as well, you went for Sabalenka in two sets. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna we both go for we're both going for Sabalenka, different ways of doing it. I just it's hard to really see her losing. She's just so good. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. And here we go. And, and usually, mate, for these live watch alongs, we've got a nice beer. I'm assuming you're not drinking a beer today. No, uh it's a little bit early for the for the beers, I have to say. There you go. I'll just pop up the uh nice one. score, make it a little bit bigger for you there. That looks good, mate. Chops there, and so there we are. We can see there Sabalenka serving first. Can you make it slightly bigger? Uh, what you want it bigger than that? Hang on, I thought I have to go like that. There you go. I remember we haven't done one of these for a while, have we? <laughs> yeah, we've got Sabalenka to serve first. She's won the first point, and she's been serving so well. She's just such a powerful player. It's good to, this is probably the, well, this is actually the first full match I'm watching of this, to be fair, because it's always so early, I always miss most of it. I just have to catch the highlights. Yeah, I mean, I've managed to catch, like, the odd uh, match. You were during... watching quite a bit of Kostuk, wasn't you? Yeah, I was watching a lot of Kostuk, and, uh, yeah, I was really excited to just see how she was going to get on this year. I was very, very impressed with her, to be honest, in this tournament. thought that uh, she was, like, the sort of, like the the dark horse sort of one that's been making her way through with a little bit of a uh well she hit a little bit of a roadblock didn't she with kuda matova but i don't know i think it's good signs for her moving forward and there we go we've got a oh good big serve in here from sabalenka early she's wide that one was it not no nah, good good serve no Gosh, yeah. wait one second. Let me get my glasses. All right. <laughs> so, Sabalenka serving into the forehand. Great winner down the line there from Kudamentova, though. Yeah, hey, so... Definitely need the glasses. I make enough dodgy line calls as it is. Oh, you just missed an amazing uh, winner down the line there from uh, Kudamentova. Just hit an amazing return winner. Great serving, though, and that... That serve down the uh, down the yeah. tee has been real the real money shot for uh, for Sabalenka this tournament. It seems to be really causing everybody she plays a lot of problems. Mate, you couldn't have asked for a more comfortable serving game really to start off with with Sabalenka. But Kuda Matova, she showed a bit of I don't know. She showed some good signs there. Do you not think of some nice nice returns? Uh, yeah, we've got well, someone in the chat here. We've got Radislaw. Um, Bit of a gambler, it looks like. And he's saying he bet for Sabalenka and Korda. So he's got one half of it coming. Korda's one in straight sets, for those who don't know. And uh, Sabalenka right now, well, she's just started, but we so, both have predicted her to win this one as well. So Is that for Korda to win tonight? Though? That's what I'm thinking. Ah, maybe it could be for Korda tonight, yeah. Forget that. Which would be a wise, uh, wise call. I believe he's an underdog in tonight's match. Yeah. So uh, it's just saying Rad uh, Sabalenka is a really powerful player. Yeah, she certainly is. And uh, I'm excited to see a bit of uh, her versus Savontek or something. I think that would be a really interesting matchup. Both players, power hitters. Yeah, I mean, it was this, it was a bit crazy last year, really, to be honest. That Sabalenka didn't do uh, better than she did. She came up against some really great people in uh, obviously the U.S. Open. But she, yeah, she just suddenly came to light at the end of the year. And I'm hoping now we've seen the best of her. She's got a lot of confidence and we can really see her push on. She could even be looking like a Grand Slam winner this year if she continues this form. Yeah, no, mate, why not? Like, she is the informed girl. Could, could, she's doing all right, though. 30 yeah. love. First service which she's been getting in. That's a bit wild, that one. <laughs> As I said it, the comment commentator's curse. <laughs> and that's it, mate. So, 30-15. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit sad. Uh, such a prestigious tournament, this one. And to have no fans uh, at that tournament. Uh, really, nice stadium, isn't it? It's a nice... Yeah, um, really nice. Around. 
Yeah, so I'm a, a little bit sad. I mean, obviously it's a WTA 500 event, and uh, this normally brings out all of the big guns. I mean, we've had a fairly decent turnout for uh, considering uh, how well what the state of the world's in right now. And uh, I think we've had probably the best tennis, even including the men's, like we were saying yesterday. Yeah. No, I agree. It's, it's interesting. This is a little opportunity here for Sabalenka. 30 all. Um, he doesn't want to be giving away too many break points early on, Kudamatova, because I, this is she's the, not the perfect player to be doing it against. Sabalenka can get away from you quick. But that was yeah. a good serve. There we go. 40-30. She yeah. needed that. She's been she hit a, really, a few good um, third serves on the juice side, actually. You can't be... Uh... Uh, unreturnable. Yeah, I don't think that she's going to want to uh, go down an early break to Sabalenka. And there's a great ace. Um, yeah, what a way to get out of it. One all. And uh, yeah, we're back in the match. That was 162 kilometres an hour, that serve. Wow. Yeah, she's definitely uh, one to watch, Kudamentova. She's only 23 years old, I believe. And uh, yeah, she's going to hit in the world by a storm. Uh, hey, we should have gone to the Middle East, mate. It looks nice out there. Apparently, the restaurants are all open. A lot of things you can do still. It's like you're living in a, a world where the coronavirus isn't really there too much. And then you've got the tennis. It's a nice bit of sun as well. Sounds nice, You've just mate. gone out there for a few months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... How I would have got as a line judge. How are you seeing this set playing out? What do you reckon? This, how do you reckon it's going to go? Do you reckon I think uh, will win the first set personally, and um, Kudamentova will win the second? But you never know, mate. Sabalenka, I do like your pick of two sets as well because it is possible she could blow her away. It all depends on how strong uh, Kudamentova is for the second set. I think she generally has shown a lot of uh, mental strength throughout. So you never know. She'd be, she could be okay and, and and have like a bit of a fight back. Here's a final at the end of the day, and like we said, there's so much at stake. So Belen can become, become can become the seventh seed at the Australian Open, and Kuda 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 Mitova, This is her first final. Yeah, exactly. First final, and uh, wow, you couldn't ask for a tougher opposition. <laughs> Someone this powerful. This is a uh, most. I think, would you say she's the most powerful on the women's tour, Sabalenka? Or I, think know, like, I think Savontek's up there, surely. Yeah, I think so. You've also got Ashley Barty, he's not too bad. Andreescu, Serena yeah. Williams. Can't really discount some of these players. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's I mean, a lot of exciting play. The, the WTA tour is really, really exciting. There's so many options. I feel like the men's probably more uh, refined to the top, say, five. <laughs> Six, yeah. maybe a push. The women's, it seems to be like a top 15, I feel. Yeah, there's definitely... And a few um, younger players like the Rybakinas as well. They can cause a bit of trouble. At the end of the day, Rybakina, she bought uh, Sabalenka to three sets, is she not? And she took the second set, I think. Yeah, exactly. So she's already... Well, she's the most... And that's just a credit to her. And she only lost... It was very... Com it wasn't like a comfortable loss. It was like 6-4 or something in the final set. It was quite close. They're going to get it up. We've been talking about uh, Rybakina. Yeah, Rybakina. Yeah. You can see it there, yeah. Yeah, she was. It was 6-4, 4-6, So only a break. Yeah, there wasn't much in it at all. And that just shows, that's a credit to, a, say, a Rybakina, who is someone who's a bit, what's she, like 30 in the world or something? 19 now. Oh, she's 19, of Yeah, after this tournament. Uh, yeah, she's really... So you've got someone 19 in the world troubling uh, someone who's 10 in the world, potentially seven after this tournament. Um, and... I think that Rybakina could go and win a, a Grand Slam or something. I generally do. There's so many options, I feel, on the women's tour, which there necessarily not is on the men's tour. They're both equally exciting in itself because there's a really interesting battle on, on the ATP tour that's heating up a bit. But regarding power, there's quite a, there's a few of them. But Sabalenka surely is up there. Yeah, well, yeah mate, for sure. Sabalenka, uh, yeah, I mean, for me... If she continues playing like this, I've said it once, I say it again, I think she could be the uh, the, the woman to beat. It's just whether she, we can see her translate. Wait, what's she got now? So she's gone 12 games unbeaten, 12 matches More. unbeaten. Yeah, fifth, fifth, uh, 14, this is her 15th. Cool, that was a second serve ace there from Kudamatova. <laughs> she's not messing about. Yeah, I know. So, Wait, I'm waiting for some of your early morning commentary on some of the points. 
<laughs> really yeah, exactly. excited. Oh god. <laughs> That's it, mate. It's coming. It's coming. We have to wait to get to the business end. Yeah. Uh if yeah, if, if ever anybody here hasn't uh, already subscribed to the channel, then please, yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on the video, and uh yeah. Uh, join us for our other watch along we're doing later on tonight. It's going to be Delray Beach. No doubt we'll have a couple of beers out for that one. I didn't even have time to make a cup of tea for this one, mate. Mate, I've got my tea. Oh, you're more prepared than me. I've just got you some go. water. You can't see it, though, because it's a green mug. <laughs> is, it, is it a GTL mug? Oh, good smash away there from Kuda Mental. They're not released yet, mate. <laughs> They're not released yet. GTL mug's coming soon. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, we'll look to get a bit of merch out later in the year. But yeah, the great oh, smash there. Looking sharp, isn't she, Veronica? Them feet yeah. are moving quick. What do you reckon on uh, uh, how easy it is? Do you reckon this is going to help Kuda Mentova in her first final play it a bit easier, the fact there's no crowd? Or do you reckon it's going to like affect her? Is she a player, a player that thrives on it? I think she's quite a calm head, to be honest. I don't think the, the crowd would have phased her. If anything, it sort of takes it from the experience. So I feel sorry for her in a way. It's nice yeah. to have your first final as a memorable one where everyone's cheering on. She would have had a lot of backing as well, I feel, um, being the underdog. I think the underdog sometimes gets more praise. Depends who it is, obviously. If it's Federer, it's not the case. But in certain <laughs> situations, the underdog's quite uh, cheered on. Ooh, Especially if there's not a hometown player there as well. Caught in two minds there. Yeah, poor choice. I mean, uh, I, yeah, she was a little bit, wasn't she? She sort of came in and then she tried something very crafty there, a little cross-court backhand drop shot. But, uh, yeah, just hit the middle of the net. I don't, I don't mind that idea, though. I feel like it's good to try it. When you're 40 love up, you, you've got the opportunity to try a few things. The problem is it then puts a little bit more pressure on the next point because then 40 30, which looks like it could be up wow, here, over here, smash and Sabalenka powers one down. And now, from one little move of like, oh, I'm going to try something out at 40 love, now she's under a bit of pressure because she doesn't want to go to juice. It's 40 30 now. Well, exactly, mate. This is the problem, isn't it? Like you just get, you try one little thing and it might have seemed like a good idea at the time, but was yeah. it? Because now you're within. Ah, oh, there you go. She's got away with it. Yeah. So there. Well, marginally, Sabalenka Sab Sab so could have missed that one by March, to be honest. And Mary Sky uh, is up early morning. Good morning, Mary. Nice to have you here joining us. Got your uh, cup of tea or something a bit stronger to get you through this women's final. Yeah, it's been quite good so far. I thought the quality has been quite, um, quite yeah, impressive. Very good. I thought, um, that last point before the one she missed, Sabalenka really was hitting the lines, isn't she? Leveled. So intent. There's another ace as well. Look at that. It's thundering down from Sabalenka. She's a scary player. I do want to see her against some of the top players. I would love to watch, say, an Osaka Sabalenka matchup. Um, yeah. And Andreescu in there as well. Something a bit more. A big so, challenge for her. I'm not saying Kuda uh, Matova is not a challenge for her. Of course she is. I would love to see one of the top 10 players playing her who's in form. Not like a Karolina Pliskova who's just hot and cold. Yeah, exactly. No one, right. wants, no one wants to see that. Uh, this serving is so, so powerful from Sabalenka, though. I mean, I've. Uh, I want to see a see... Savontek Sabalenka. I think that would be a really interesting match. Yeah, definitely. Well. I can, or oh. I'm sure we're going to see that battle many times to come, though. Do you not know I mean? think? I hope so. I really do. I'm just having a look uh, on here to see how fast Sabalenka serves, and uh, they're saying that she serves at 133 miles per hour for on the women's game. That is rapid. So. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Mary Sky says it's 11 a.m. Not too early for me. Oh, oh nice. So, all right for some, isn't it? I wouldn't mind getting up at 11 to do this. Yeah, for sure, mate. There you go. Sabalenka. And that is actually our first game to love. Uh, hey, the champagne makes me feel sick right now. <laughs> not be that. But there you go. Cheers. Oh, cheers, my day. We should have had like a uh, a little cup of tea or something. Should have a morning one, yeah. 
Ah, so three games to two, pretty even Stevens so far. Both players looking very confident on their yeah, own side. Yeah, Sabalenka, she's had a bit more of an indent, hasn't it? We've not seen any break points uh, yet, but we've been quite close at 30 all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's... Uh, She's got to be a little bit more careful on her serve, Kudamentova. Even though she's been serving well, I think that there's just so much firepower down the other end with Sabalenka. You just cannot, uh, you can't just give her any free points. Can't let her see too many second serves. Uh, she's going to be one of these people uh, who really, really uh, just punishes you. It's just you can't allow it. Who's that in the crowd? Uh, not sure. I recognise the face. Don't know who it is. Yeah, it's just got half. It's like the the mask. It's the mask, isn't it? It's so confusing. Yeah, I can't see. So, yeah, with three two in the first set, we're nearing the business end of the first set as well. So it's quite an interesting, uh, interesting time coming up now. Not a real time, but do you reckon Sabalenka is going to start turning it on a little bit? Start turning the screw. Well, I don't think she can, mate. If uh, Veronica's doing doing a bit doing her business, <laughs> I hope she's not doing any business. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so here we go. Kudamentova serving. Two, yeah, three. here we go. We've got Ivan here. Hello from Argentina. How are we doing, mate? Hey. Buenos dias. Yeah, let us know, guys. Anyway, in the chat, uh, what do you reckon the, the score's going to be? Who do you reckon is going to win the first set? And uh, what do you reckon we're going to be seeing? So if you missed the first serve there, just we're talking about that. Second serve. Oh, we got... A, oh, no, it's not. It was a let's first time. Apologies. I missed that. So here we go. Second serve. It's, that is a double fault, though. Yeah, and there you go. Yeah. yeah. Not, not a good first start. Double the, fault. Bit nervy as well, maybe. Come on, Sa come on, uh, Kuda Meta Kuda Matova. It's not really like that usually. <laughs> Midfield Maestro, early morning for you guys, eh? Hey? Yeah, it is. It is indeed. Had to set the alarms early this morning to get up for this one. Oh, yeah, great. Work afterwards as well, but you don't mind. I feel like this is the, the WTA um, Abu Dhabi Open's actually been really good. I've enjoyed yeah. it a lot more probably than the men's this year. So. No, it's looking really good. So there you go. Great play by uh, Kuda Mentova. She really took command of that last rally. 15 all into the net. She's not getting many first serves in right now. And this is the chance for Sabalenka to now just creep into this uh, service game. She's got a second serve. Power. Yeah, well, the second serve. serves are no good. Power probably. again. Winner. Sabalenka's going to absolutely destroy her. If there's too many second serves, she can't get her first serve in enough. She's going to get destroyed, I'll be honest. And yeah. we've got John there, uh, Kormakov, saying 6 3 first set. Who to? Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing he's saying Sabalenka. Yeah. There we go. Great. Oh, it was nearly. Yeah, it was just so. long that serve. Yeah. Here we go. Big throws it up. Oh, it's another. It's had second yeah. double fault and the double pressure. To this thing, and now we're going to have two break points. The first break points of the match, and this is a little opportunity here in the first set. I feel if she loses one of these, this is first set done for me. Yeah, maybe John just got his prediction in just in time. Another let as well. <laughs> so it's in two double faults. Yeah, any later from John, mate. An old thing. That's a bit of a bit late. A bit cheating. There we go. Good one down the line. Oh, it's into the net, and we've got our first break. So there you go. And boom, just like that. Sabalenka breaks in the first set, and she leads 4-2. Can yeah. she consolidate? That's the big question. It's nice to press the button for a change, mate, and actually uh, be doing these live watch-alongs for the 2021 season. We've got a lot more of these cup plans. Yeah, mate, so it is. now we've got Sabah. But remember, if you're new to the channel, it's never a break unless you consolidate. So we're going to be seeing if Sabalenka can. Look at the power that she's putting across there and forces the error. She's angry at herself. The thing is, I'm not seeing a smile from her yet. Nah. She just holds herself in such high regard. She knows how well she can play. And... Um, I think anything less than, say, 80% or 90%, she's just devastated with. 
And yeah. her eighteen percent is dangerous. I'll tell you that. We've got Mary there saying no, Veronica. She's a bit upset. Obviously, I think she predicted her to win. Well, yeah, Veronica. Be good to see her grab her first WTA title. But Sabalenka is uh, electric right now. Look at the I'm power. I'm excited to see her at the Australian Open. Yeah, I mean, look at the it? shot variety as well. Look at that, the drop shot. Yeah. It was like a half-hearted drop shot, but it was brilliant because I don't think um, Kuda Matova was expecting it. Well, she's so far behind the baseline due to these power shots. Look at that. Into the corner every time and then mix it up. actually a good reply from her. Nothing you can do there. That's just world class. It's honestly world class. Brilliant hands. And the way this is going, mate, this first set looks dead and buried. Yeah, mate. So uh, it's getting that way, isn't it? It really is getting that way. Uh, here we go. It's 30 love. Second serve. Oh, she pins her to the baseline, but neither. Oh, it's long from uh, Kudamatova there. Yeah, 40 love, and she's got three opportunities here to consolidate and Consolid get to the magic number five. We've yeah. got Midford Maestro saying Sabalenka's starting to get to the next level. Yeah, she certainly is. Yeah. And there is guy saying, no, I didn't. She didn't back um, Veronica at the beginning, but she's just rooting for her now. Oh, okay. Well, she is, uh, well, I think she's winning a few people over in this tournament. I think she's going to be... A very good competitor this whole season. Ah, oh, and a double fault uh, from uh, Sabalenka. No better time to have it than when you're 40 love up. Yeah. And now, uh, is she still on course for a consolidation? <laughs> Are you still on course to be pressing the button? That's the question on my uh, on my mind. I know. Just give me one less button to press now. No games to love in this one. So <laughs> two double faults apiece. There's been a lot of double faults in a lot of the games that we've seen in this first uh few matches of this year. Oh, she's hit the oh, net cord. Good yeah. yeah, in. She's put away the volley and it's 40-30. 40-30. Oh, As the umpire says. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that was... Tyson Fury saying? Is he not woken up yet? Who? Tyson Fury. Is he still asleep? <laughs> yeah, mate. I'm sure he's well asleep. He doesn't have to get up this early. <laughs> for his, uh, he hasn't got another fight for a while. <laughs> oh, and look, she's missing her first serves now. Now the pressure suddenly transferred over into the Sabalenka racket now. Are we seeing the first sign of weakness? Good yeah, second eight. serve. Oh, it's hit the net cord. She's into the net. It's down the line. She's gone for the lob. Sabalenka smashes it away. And there you go. Consolidation. That was an easy. That was an easy smash to miss. Do you yeah. not think? Leaning backwards, you can easily. She only just caught the line. I feel she didn't give much room for error. But fair and, play. And there we are. Sabalenka's now leading this first set five two. Yeah, don't forget. And she was just looking a bit nervy there. So that smash was coming at a time where she just lost two straight points. If she'd have managed, if she'd have missed that, you. Looking dodgy, you're back at juice. But well, that would have so. been the most points on her, on her serve. I think we've had 22 minutes played so far. And, well, the first set is almost done. John's it's looking... Very ready to Sabalenka. John's prediction looking quite good right now, 6-3. I don't know, mate. I reckon she could get broken again here. Oh, yeah. 6-2 I'm going for. And don't forget, at the moment, we've got uh, currently... All the matches are playing right now. Every, everything's going on uh, in uh, Australian Open qualifying at the moment. They've all kicked off. They're all a, a set deep into. Oh, some of them have even completed their matches already. Uh, we had uh, Ankita Rayner, unfortunately. She's gone out in the final round of qualifying. Oh, yeah. Uh, Did she lose uh, to Rayner? It was. Uh, oh, God, let me just uh, have a quick check. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Danilovic. From Serbia, so I felt like she could have beaten her. You'll be glad to hear that uh, Svetla, uh, Svetlana Peronkova she's yeah, made it through. Peronkova made it through against Gaspar, and that's a tr tricky match as well. So I'm happy yeah, with that exactly. One. Gasparian, uh, she's that uh, she's that single-handed backhand, isn't she? She's yeah. the, one of the only on the women's tour. Kaja Juvan, she's absolutely she was the number one seed for all the qualifying, and she's absolutely destroyed everyone in qualifying. She looks really good. Someone I'm impressed of is Sweeney. You might not know yeah. who he is. He's crazy good. He's up a set at the moment against Stokowski. 6-2 in the final of the qualifying. 
And uh, he's a bit of an unknown, really, to be honest. Mate. Australia. He's, he's doing a, the business right now. It's those, mate, it's the hometown, uh, hometown kids, isn't it? So you've got to be careful, these hometown kids. He's bit of beat Marius Coppel. And, uh, well, yeah, he had a walkover against Kudler, who came down with uh, the coronavirus. But anyway, the match is back on, and it is Love 15. Kudler Matova's lost the first point. So let's join the action. We've got midfield Maestro saying this might be one of those finals. I'm not sure if uh, he means one of them finals, which is just one-sided and a quick... Ooh. Oh, that's wild. Oh, that was very wild. There? I think and that's... Right after that shot, she did one of them deep breaths. And for me, that's one of them moments like, <gasps> the occasion's getting to me slightly. <laughs> I've been wow. saying how calm she is, but clearly yeah. you can be calm as, as you, and, and collected as you want. But a final is a different prospect altogether. That was a massive unforced error. Really, it was. Uh, it was outside the set, outside the tram line. So, it was a shank, not... shank, mate. That was a lamb shank. I know, mate. You were talking, so I couldn't press it though. So that's all right. No worries. We'll save it for uh, for the next. I wouldn't say it was a full on shank because you got a good connection. It just went yeah, miles true. wide. Just the uh, radar was off a bit. I think we saved the lamb shanks for the uh, sitter pass. Oh, uh, and here we frame. are. Two set points. She went for the drop shot, cross court, missed it. And now we're at 15.40. Two set points for Sabalenka. That's it, mate. And just because... like that, what did I say to you? 6-2. John's not going to be happy. 6-3 prediction. Not looking as good. Oh, it's just Second gone well. as well. And there we go. Sabalenka, she's waiting. Here we go, big forehand, and it's long yeah. and first set, Sabalenka. There you That's go, great. mate. Oh, so Sabalenka wins the first set, 6-2. How impressive was that, Ben? Mate, I mean, it was... Uh... I'm I'm not actually that shocked because she's just continued exactly the same form we've been seeing from Sabalenka over the, the past two tournaments. All of this tournament, she looks like a changed uh, player at the moment. And uh, this looks like somebody really uh, who can compete with the top players now. I just can't wait to see her play somebody uh, inside that top 10. Yeah, mate, just a quick one. I don't know if you've got it up, but do you mind getting up the rankings maybe for the women? I can send you a link if it's easier. Just the, just the top 10, the WTA. Yeah, rankings. I can, I can be quite it. interesting to have a look. Uh, hopefully yeah, this messed up the, the scoring too much, but if you leave That's it right, on... I can take it off for a little bit. I think that'll be quite interesting to have a little look. Yeah, um, I just got this... There, while, you, while you're doing that, saying, might be a quick stream for you guys. Yeah, it could be, to be fair. <laughs> it, um... I think that first set was about, what was it, 28 minutes or something? I think it was just under, just shy of 30 minutes. So, went pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah, as, as Ben's, Ben's delivered, we've got Barty there. Obviously, she's the number one. Simona Halep, just behind her. Um, can you zoom in slightly, Ben? Just maybe one more? Let's see if I can. That's fine. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, that, yeah, perfect. Can you just see the ages as well? So, because some of the ages, <laughs> I don't see. Uh, I'll have to go over. You might have to. Yeah, that's fine. I can know the numbers. It's fine. So there's a few older. You've got Simona Halep, 29, and you've got Hasaka Kenin, two young players, 23 and 22. Svitolina there. Pliskova's in the middle, but Pliskova for me, I don't know. I can see her dropping out of the top ten. To be honest, soon. I, I don't want to be too harsh on her because she can pull off results, but just too inconsistent. Kvitov obviously been around for a long time, and Burton's. Sabalenka, they're 22. So the three real young, well, four, including Ashley Barty, you can't really discount 26 as old either for Svitolina. But there's a few young players there, exciting. But the main ones are Sarka, Kenin, um, Andreescu. Andreescu and Sabalenka. Yeah. It's a tough, tough, interesting battle between them. And Sabalenka, for me... 22 years old. Really discount her. Playing a, say against a Kenin, I think she gives Kenin a really good match as well. Obviously, a Grand Slam champion last year and a finalist. Yeah, I mean, I just, just, just wait. Skoltek, he's not even on that list yet because she's only, I think she's like 19. Uh, but she posted, obviously, a Grand Slam win last year. So she's not going to be too far away. No, exactly, mate. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, let's move away. They're kicked off again. 
So and there we go with an ace, mate. You know, didn't miss much of much tennis, just a big powerful ace from Sabalenka, and she's 30 love up already. Well, let's have a quick look over the, some of those first set stats. Uh, as you can see here, Sabalenka, she, the first serve points won 80 percent, ridiculous. Uh, 75 percent second server uh, that's just just crazy and look at you see where the damage is being done on the kudamenta uh, only 17 percent of second yeah. serve points yeah, no, second serve has been a mate well, i don't know she might as well just undo an underarm serve to be honest mate or try something completely different or maybe just try and go for two first serves because the second serves are just not powerful enough really to deal to for sabalenka sabalenka is just swatting and past her uh with relative ease to be honest yeah so here we go, 30-15. Uh, and it's just crazy, isn't it? Uh, to think uh, how young uh, Sabalenka is as well and how well she's oh, doing. How, how young she is, a midfield master there, Adin. Right? Sabalenka has eight titles. It's just crazy. It's, uh, I mean, you think of it, it's sort of a little bit like she, uh, when, when she beat Azarenka. Yeah, no, this, this is a really amazing performance, I'll be honest. She's on such an unbeaten run. That serve... And powerful forehand to follow it up, mate. That is incredible. Berrettini should be watching a bit of that. That's usually his trademark. <laughs> yeah. If Berrettini uh, is at a loose end, turn this on and watch that because that's, that's what he is so good at, but he's just been unable to do recently. Yeah. Um, well, and there we exactly. go. She holds, wins the first the first match of the second, the first game of the second set, and she's one love up. And mm. Radoslaw asked an interesting question: Who can win today with against Sabalenka? Maybe Asaka. Uh, and who more? I don't know. But some of the names we mentioned, Kenin, I guess, if everything's firing. Um, I would love to see a Savontek, maybe on clay. I think Savontek could give her a good match on a different surface. Um, mm. Yeah, it's interesting. Or even an Andreescu. I think people forget about her because she's been injured. She's been out of basically yeah. all of 2020. But 2019, you've got to remember, Andreescu was amazing beating um, Serena Williams in that 2019 US yeah. Open final. Um, incredible player on hard courts as well. So that, I would love to see her get back. She's going to be back this season for sure. Um, I'm not sure if she's in the Australian Open or not. I'll have to have a look when we do the draw preview and stuff. We'll be doing all of that uh, in the coming weeks. But for me, I think she does give her a good match. And then John's obviously saying Serena. I'm not so sure about the Serena now, to be honest. I think because... Serena now versus Sabalenka. Mm. I wouldn't give her as much chance, but obviously a few years back, that would have been an amazing match. But... Wow, look at that winner there. And that's what happens if you give her a second serve to look at. She absolutely obliterated it. And uh, that's just a winner coming off that forehand side yet again. Yeah, Amazing. And this is, uh, she can't give her any second serve. She might have to take a little bit off the first serve, if anything. Just to uh, ensure it goes in. She missed another one there. I don't and, know, they uh, can't afford to take too much off, mate, because she'll start treating her first serve as a second. I know, she's going to have to try and think of uh, a way to just... It's right into the hitting zone, and look at that. She's all automatically on the back foot as soon as that first uh, serve comes in. And look at this, and she's just dictating, and she goes for the drop shot. It's too oh, good. It's too Stand good. Later. It is simply too good. She's on fire right now. She's honestly yeah. on fire, and just... It's like a golfing class between the two. I feel sorry because I, you can see Kuda Matova's got the... She's got good shots. Even yeah. now, under pressure, you can see how she's managed to get to the final. Uh, but she's just not being a, uh, let to play, to be honest, from Sabalenka. And that's just a credit to her. I this is a masterclass. This is actually a masterclass. Oh, that's a great one-two punch there from uh, Kuda Mentova. She's uh, shortened the rally very well, though. Uh, yeah. I think Sabalenka probably... Uh, I mean, if she's could... not generating the power on the serve, she needs to work for, uh, focus on placement. And I'm not sure what the best thing to do, but I think serving to the backhand of uh, Sabalenka is probably the wisest uh, decision. Everything on the forehand side is just getting swatted away. Yeah, definitely. There we go. It's a second serve. Uh, pressure one as well. 15-30. Great winner. And well, saying that, I'm not sure about the backhand side either. <laughs> no, mate. They're both dangerous. They yeah. both... I think that she draws a comparison right now, Sabalenka, to a, like a sort of a young uh, Serena Williams at the moment. She's just that hitting with that much power. She's quick. Uh, she, yeah. She's decent around the court as well. Obviously, we know Serena. She's uh, getting towards the end of her career now. Not as uh, fast around the court, but Sabalenka at this age and with this much power. 
Uh, yeah, scary prospects. You've got two break points. And a second serve as well, I believe. Oh, he's he's got a second he's got serve a, in. And going both down the middle. Wow. She dragged her out wide. There you go, mate. Long. And there we go. In the second set, Sabalenka has broken at the first opportunity. Scary, I think is the word there for uh, Sabalenka. And I think uh, for me, <clears throat> when she lost to uh, Azarenka in the US Open, I think that was sort of like something sort of clicked. And uh, I think that because she's obviously another Belarusian, uh, when she played her the next time, it was sort of like uh, maybe the changing of the guard a little bit. Maybe this is now the new... She probably would have been an idol. An Azarenka figure for Sabalenka growing up, I'm sure, was an idol for her. No, for sure. Uh, like most yeah. tennis players, it doesn't have to just be a Belarusian. It's just most of them. Azarenka's has been so amazing throughout her career. And it's amazing to see her resurgence. But I think a key for her beating her, well, or losing to her, was probably the awe factor. Playing your idol, the other side of the court. Maybe. I think that Azarenka's pretty class as well. So I don't want to take anything from her. Yeah, yeah, Azarenka just had one of those. And there we runs. go, though. A bit shaky. Was that a double fault? I think it was, yeah. So that's her second double fault. And now a little opportunity here for Kuda Matova to get back into this match. Don't I feel forget. like she has to take it, otherwise it's not looking good. Yeah, don't forget, obviously, uh, Azarenka, she's ranked uh, 13th in the world at the moment. So oh, they've got... what a return of serve that was. Love 40. So wow. we have now... Kuda Matova's first opportunity at some break points, and she's got three of them to get there this back go. on serve. And we've got Radislaw there saying, I oh, will bet Sabalenka to win the Australian Open. Wow. Oh, the cook, she's questioning the line ace. called everything. Uh, look, look like an ace. Good way to save. Um, wouldn't surprise me if she hits a few more of them now. Mary yeah, exactly. saying, come back. Is it on? I don't know. Wait and see. See if she can break back. You don't want to see her just go out feebly, but this first serve's not firing now for Sabalenka and she needs it. Yeah, She's great. now got a second serve to look at. Pressure. And there we go. She's gone big on the return, but then she's forced back to the baseline by Sabalenka. She's gone down the line. Now they're cross-court backhand from Kudamentova. She's gone oh, into the net and there uh, it's... We've not hurting. seen many long rallies. Probably the longest rally we've no. seen for a while. There have not been many. It's, it's all been mad, it? quick points. It's like men's tennis. <laughs> it's well, it's just... not, not always, mate. Sometimes men's tennis is pretty quick as well. Watch most of the Sverev matches and it's not much... Uh... That's what I mean. It's like men's tennis. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Second is... Serve. Is this is this the new breed the final of break uh, point towards the hardest one to get rid of, isn't it? From love for you. Is this the new breed of uh, female tennis player? The power one-two punches, like we've seen with Savontek, Sabalenka. Are these going to be? Is, oh, she's gone back the same way. She's been lobbed. It's in on the baseline. Sabalenka's got there. She's lobbed it back. It's gone in. No way. Wow. No way. And somehow this rally is still going. Point. Oh, and terrible shot, and she gets broken back. She's she laughing at herself there. She did all the hard work. <laughs> what a shot that was. What was the last shot? It was bizarre, wasn't it? She just, like, chopped at it. Like a little it. chop, yeah. I think it was yeah. a bit of a tricky position for her, but credit to oh. Kudamatova. I think, I think that's a good uh, outcome because we didn't want it to get away from her too, too quickly. I um, think that's all too common, isn't it, in tennis you see players when it's a super long rally and they've done all the hard work and they've run they've got it done a tweener got it all back then it gets mid-court or something the one they can finish off and they just blast it out or they just it's like they've all their God, energy lot, you can see it again now it's a brilliant lob she comes Shit. to the net and then she managed to lob her back caught the back of the baseline and then from that moment, you'd think advantage Sabalenka. That forehand wasn't very convincing. <laughs> that was just appalling. Terrible Bizarre. shot. Bizarre. Um, Mary's happy, though. <laughs> but and at I least just want to say, if we've got some new people here joining us, if you're new to the channel, you like what we do. We did a lot more of these live watch-alongs. Uh, we did them all last year as well. We've got a whole season of 2021 now, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
Uh, also, <laughs> like the video, really yeah. helps us out as well, and, and share it with your friends. That's it, mate. Because we've got uh, now this is really hotting up this final in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I'm sure it's hot enough out there already, but now the tennis is getting hot. So Sabalenka finally broken for the first time in this final. Kudamentova now, she has to really uh, do well in this next game. She cannot get broken back. Uh, if she gets broken back here... Uh, Personally, I see it going... Um, I think Sabalenka is going to come out firing, a bit like Rafa Nadal uh, uh, level. Do you know where he gets broken? It just makes him angry. Yeah. Well, you could see that here from Sabalenka. It's all going to be dependent on this first serve. If she can get that first serve in. Oh, she got it in, but Sabalenka's shot so powerful. Man, I thought Kudamatova did very well there, and I think she was surprised that last one come back. Yeah, <laughs> it come definitely. back so much better. She was, oh no, I'm getting out of this rally. I don't blame her. I don't fancy that. Nah, mate. Well, it's fair, isn't it? Playing like a Sabalenka, you run out of, you just make just makes yourself question everything you do. Look at this, and gosh, she just pins it to the baseline. Look at that. It's yeah. Before she's even finished her service action, the Mate, ball's I, I, right I out. Have predicted this 100% in this, like this, after getting broken, she's just going to be more aggressive. She's come out now a tad more aggressive, uh, and every shot she is hitting to the wire with power, and Kuda Matova just can't breathe. There we go. That serves in, though. Oh, she has to make reply. more of those. Not a good reply. That's the ones you need to be making because now we've got three break point opportunities. It wasn't even a great shot, uh, great great return from Sabalenka. No, she, I mean, she's not going to be too happy. The comeback, I don't know if it lasted too long because we, Sabalenka now is threatening 3 1. Yeah, so it just went mid court that one and uh, Kudamentova really uh, failed to just do anything with it. And she's managed to get a good first serve in this time. We're at 15.40. She's saved one of them. Have we seen all breaks this third, this yeah. uh, second set? So, well, so far, this could yeah. be another one. I believe so, anyway. Is that right? No, no. Well, Sabalenka Maybe probably one. didn't. She, got, she probably held the first time, didn't she? Yeah, the first game was held. Oh, and there you go. And there's the break. Again. Never in doubt, was it? No, I, mean, no, I, didn't, no. I didn't think you were going to be pressing the consolidation button, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, it's a little bit predictable, isn't it? Like, yeah. uh, it's almost as if serving is a disadvantage for Kuda Mentova in this match. She doesn't really want to be served. But then again, Sabalenka throws out so many aces. So receiving's uh, yeah, disadvantage as well. Well, let's see how she serves here because this is a big. Uh, I feel like this is a wow. big this match, and that as well. That's a, that shows the intent. <laughs> One two punch. It's like round it. Let's say she's her forehand's just amazing, but I think her backhand's not too bad either. She's hit a few <laughs> uh, perfect returns on the backhand side too. Yeah, mate. She, uh, she's uh, faultless. Right? You can't even like pinpoint one side of her game. Ace well, there as well. It's just it's not it's, really much she can work on, to be honest. I would say maybe, well, net, probably that top height. shot, that weird shot she does. Volleying, maybe. Well, volleying. Does she even need to go? Does she even need to come into the net? <laughs> Some of her overhead shots are brilliant, though. Yeah. I don't think she thinks she needs to volley. She just literally... Ace. Another ace. What's the ace count? So the ace count right now, Sabalenka's hit five aces. Uh, Kudamatova, two. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? And Nearly another the game, the game, the game to love, and the consolidation. I know, mate. I'm, I've got them hovering over a couple. There you go. She's got the return back in, and what a shot that is! And there you go. I feel like. And. To be yeah. honest, mate, I can feel the confidence leaving Kuda Matova. Well, I'm not surprised. You know, in terms of I just don't know what to do. So for you guys joining us right now, the first set, Sabalenka walked it 6-2. And yeah. the second set is going in a very similar vein. She's 4-1 up. Remember, Kuda Matova's never won a final. Sabalenka, she's won quite a few of them. I think it was eight, eight, eight finals previously. She's got eight titles. Um, and with a win here, she will go seventh in the world, 
which will give her a brilliant draw for, well, she'll be seeded seven for the Australian Open. Never know. If there's more people drop out of the tournament, she might be even higher, mate. Yeah, so, but even to be getting inside that thing, that's going to be big for her. One person, obviously, we would look to look forward to seeing. Hopefully, she'll be playing. So if you haven't seen her for a while, is actually Barty. Might be yeah. back in action again in Australia. Haven't yep. seen her for a long time, it seems. I uh, hope she's still in. Was it last Australia, it seems? Seems like it, doesn't it? Like, yep. it's crazy that we, we were, you were sort of cheering her on. Uh, back to the win, that. Win it, didn't they? Yeah, you were cheering yeah, her on. She got quite far. I think Kenin maybe knocked her out in the semis or maybe a yeah. sub or something. Something like that. Yeah, it was very good, though. Very, very uh, great tournament, that Australian Open last year. And uh, be looking forward to it. Uh, I think a lot of people will have some, some money on uh, Sabalenka. Yeah, just to let update you guys what's happening. Obviously, for tonight, if you, if you didn't know already, we're going to be doing the Delray Beach uh, final. We'll be doing the live watch along for that. Uh, and then in the coming weeks, we have a few tournaments in Melbourne. Uh, I think one for the women's, two for the men's. Then we'll have the ATP Cup for the men's. We'll be covering all of that too. And then the Australian Open for both sides. And that's yeah. going to be really fascinating. We'll be doing a lot of previews. Maybe we'll get a few people on to discuss who they think is going to be winning. Uh, and a few. we've got a lot of stuff in store, basically, for a, a busy tennis schedule ahead. Yeah, for sure. When is it the... Uh... And uh, ATP Antalya final, when are they kicking off? Because that's going to be obviously a uh, public versus. Uh, like that must be on now. I, uh, yeah. I can't see it. Uh, oh, it looks like it's pushed back to nine o'clock. Ah, 9.05. Oh, she went for a big one there, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like Kudamentov is only getting some points from uh, Sabalenka's unforced errors at the yeah. moment. Just total control. And there we go. Second serves one. Kudamatova's only won 17% of her second serves. And like I said, your second serve, you basically, like, there we go. She's missed the first and the kind of advantage. Now Sabalenki, they kind of expect the 15 30. Let's see if she can. Remember in the first set, she actually hit a second serve ace as well, Kudamatova. We thought, wow, she's yeah. just as good at serving. Yeah, this is. Well, fashion, second serve, she loses one again. It's and going. she has to get all her first serves in. That's how, when you're playing some of the best in the world there's fine margins you can't afford to really hit second serve sometimes it just seems like all of the confidence is uh, draining away from uh, Kudamentova right now and it's uh, a fight and a losing battle uh, when you see Sabalenka at the other end what you do and there's another first serve goes awry into the net yeah. so safe to say you're expecting a break point here Oh, look at this. That looked long, but... Yeah. Wow, another winner from Sabalenka. <laughs> We've got... Crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Kuna Matova just watched it go past her. I don't think she expected. There wasn't even much angle. She was standing that side of the court. Wow, what an angle she created. Wow. How did she create that angle? That was Weird. amazing. Wow. A forehand spin speed is ridiculous. And there we go, ace to save the first break point. Incredible. We've got to save another one here. 168 kilometers an hour serve speed. So that's what she's got to do, really. Bear in mind, 168 kilometers an hour. Sabalenka serves at 222 kilometers an hour. That's the difference in serve speed we're talking here. And I believe Sabalenka is the second fastest women's server of all time. Gosh. Bind who? Uh, I can find that one out for you. One second. I had it up earlier. I just uh, I closed it, I think. Oh, while you do that, she saved the other one and we're at juice. I think it's our first juice of the match, maybe. We haven't had many. <laughs> I don't think we had any. No. Uh, <laughs> behind Georgina Garcia Perez. I'm sorry, I've got it and it is long. So we have another break point here for Sabalenka. Virtual match point, would you say? Yeah, for sure, mate. And it's probably set up the bake, uh, the the breadstick. Oh my god! This is shades of Savantec in French Open. This performance. Mate, could this dream be ended before the hour mark? That's the question. Oh, let. So she has to do her first serve again. And that's not a good sign, is it? She finally got one in. It's a let. And then Almino said, oh, I missed all the match. 
<laughs> you can wind it back if you want to watch the match from the beginning with us wind that stream back you can cover all the action as it unfolds yeah appreciate everybody who's, uh, who's got up early to join us and uh just uh anybody from around the world who's joining us if you haven't liked the video yet please hit the like button that helps us out and hit the subscribe button to uh be sure to have the notifications of when we're going live again which is actually later tonight yeah, and big news there from Mike. I feel like we've got to talk about it. Francesca Jones has qualified for the I Australian know. Open. I stole Beating it from me. Six love, six one. I was saving that oh, for the end of the right. match, mate. I was saving it. I was just, like, I was going to bring it up once this was finished, but yeah, he's we'll beaten me it. The match for sure, but yeah, that's just one word on it. That's amazing. I'm so so happy with that. Yeah, Zabalenka, they're frustrated. She's a. Uh, well, she's giving her up this opportunity here. And it looks like Kudamatova could hold. 4-1, advantage Kudamatova. So she's got a, a, a game point here. That's it. It's turned it round. Is there a comeback? Gonna, <laughs> she can't say a comeback every time she wins a few points, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> this match is dead and buried. Famous at... last words from me. Here we go. She's going to come back now. Clutching at straws. Oh, you can't be putting uh, slices back into the middle of the court. What a shot. That That's is ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. That, <laughs> that really hit. is. That really is. Whatever power, it comes back twice as fast and behind her as well. That backhand is... Don't fire. question the backhand, sir. That's just as good. Fire, mate. If not better. I really didn't realise. Mate, it's... This is an eye-opener for me on how good Sabalenka is. Obviously, Mate. I know she's brilliant, but did not expect this level. Yeah, but this is a final. Kind of did, kind of did, but like just seeing it, it's just mental. Where's the I mean, nerves? I watch her live. I think it would be a fascinating watch. Where, where's the nerves? There doesn't seem to be any. This is a final of a WTA yeah. 500 event. We've got Majid joining us now. How are we doing, mate? Good morning, hey. or good afternoon, wherever you're watching, or evening, <laughs> or evening. <laughs> maybe it's morning for us. Early rise, but I'm on the tee. No beers today. No. And we're watching the Sabalenka Masterclass right now. She's got another break point. There we go. She's gone down the line. Oh, look at this. She's able to, like, just force Kudamentova into a, a poor shot. But there's a great winner from Kudamentova. What a great inside-out forehand from her. Good safe. God, she's, she's struggling to stay in this match, isn't she? But, she's um, fighting, She's fighting. You've got to give her credit. Yeah, There's a lot really. of players who are completely down tools. You not know think? Yeah. Probably myself included, mate. If I was playing now, I'd think, well, is there any point? Like, am I going to ever win this match? <laughs> I could try everything, but she's really giving it her all, and that just shows her mentality as a player and as a as a as a woman. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. It's done so well to get to this final. Obviously, only losing two of her last fourteen matches, so. She can serve though, and that's not um, been a, a very good thing so far. I think her second serve percentage must have been down. It was seventeen percent earlier. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it's like fourteen right now. But she's doing alright on this oh, one. Is that just long. Yeah. Another second serve and another well point to Sabalenka. Midfield maestro coming in saying, uh, obviously, yeah, Sabalenka has won three Masters one thousands and. Uh, it's quite incredible. She's uh, right at the top of the game, uh, 22 years old and taking the world by storm. And could 2021 be her year? Could we be seeing a Grand Slam title being added? She's only ever made it to the fourth round of a Grand Slam before this. Yeah, uh, this she's saving game. another break point. She's doing all right on the outside, saving the break points. So it's juice number five. Indeed. She's saved five break points as well. <laughs> Oh, she's missed the first serve again, though. Juice yep. number five. She's going to be expect this to come back at about 400 miles an hour, this return. And there it is. Oh, it's into the net. How many times have you seen that? It's getting predictable, though, isn't it? The second serves, it's kind of even in her mind. Kuda Matova, she knows kind of, oh, well, I'm probably Where'd not going to win it? point. Where'd you put it? Back under four? Know, you you go down. Try something a bit different with the serve. Maybe you apply a bit more slice. Maybe under, a kick serve. Or just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to start seeing underarm serves. I feel like that would just... Sabalenka, here we go. Second serve on the break point this time. And that is definitely not a good sign. 
I think it's the first time we've seen that. Oh, and look at that. And what a way to break. Overpowered Sabalenka. It is just like a different class here. And there we go. She breaks. And here we are, Robbo. Yeah. Uh, it's five o'clock here in the UK. And it is. Oh. Sabalenka now serving for the match and the title in Abu Dhabi. Uh, right, she won the first set 6 2. She's 5 1 up now. Can she. Well, do better one better than the, the the first set and serve up a breadstick here. Have time to do a public demonora at this right, mate. <laughs> 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 I might be able to do it on my own. Yeah, you could do, mate, if you want. <laughs> here we go. Anyway, oh, it's wide from Kudamentova, pretty far wide. Fifteen love, mate. God, oh. you've got to big her up, man. Honestly, just what a what a tournament, what a last few weeks. This is what title number. Title number. This will be title number nine for her. Wow, here we go. It's a bit of slice and so in a row. I wow, believe. great shot from Kudamentova there. Yeah. This would be probably the greatest comeback I've seen in a long, long time if she managed. <laughs> All this one back from here. Yeah, I can't see it. I'm not gonna lie. It's a it's a very tall order, mate. Agreed. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, it's just long from Sabalenka there. It's unfortunate. Good, but I couldn't really quite see the other side. <laughs> Must have been quite close. Yeah, I think it was. Almina, they're saying I called public as my dark horse as a joke. All <laughs> 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 well, like that is a typical <laughs> thing to happen, really, with public. He can he can pull it off when he's on form. That underarm serve probably been popping. Oh, great winner from Kudamentova here, and look, she's looking to break back. It's the comeback on. Yeah, Coach is back in there. Could she do one of the greatest comebacks we've seen? She has two break points here to prevent the breadstick and the match getting oh, away from great her. return here. Look, Kudamentova's going for it now. Oh, I think she's can't, really like nothing now. Can't have a high bouncer against Sabalenka. Great length on the slice. Great for inside that forehand, Sabalenka. Down the line this time. Oh, what a shot, Sabalenka! <laughs> That is just. It's, I feel like it's not fair. Do you know what, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're watching it, you're just thinking, Queen of October's done everything right there. She's played a pretty, pretty perfect point. That's really, it was. It was incredible. You're thinking, what can I do? She's Nothing. making pe she make people retire from tennis at this rate. <laughs> no one's going to want to play. They're like, what's the point? Mate, I, I literally couldn't agree more. And there we go. She saved the other break point. Wow. And she a powerful, powerful serve. That's pretty impressive, mate. Can I see a few match points here. Could well do. Second oh, into, serve. Oh, into the net. A bit nervy, mate. What do you do now? Do you go all out on this one? Second yeah, serve? Mate. Yeah, mate. Just go for it, I say. Oh, don't much. listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> and as, as the doctor ordered, or oh Ben, attack it, and there we go. It goes long. And here we have a championship point for Sabalenka to go number seven in the world for a number eight trophy. And number eight, I can never remember. Number nine, number nine, eight. Nine. nine. <laughs> championship point. Here we go. Uh, Arena Sabalenka. What's she got? Oh, it's long. It's juice, mate. We're back Ooh, in juice. We can have another one. And the mate. match. How long has the match gone on for? Let's say the match time there. Uh, looks like 59 minutes. They're just shy of an hour so far. Looks yeah, like if Kudamatova can hold her a bit longer here, she could make it over an hour, which is... Uh, oh, is that a little wide as well, that one? Yeah, it was. It's 
still looks so focused. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's really. Here we go. Oh, that, that's a good chance to go for it. She only went down the middle, though. Sabalenka now is back in the rally. Kuda Mensah, great shots here, keeping her pin to the baseline. She's hitting it well, isn't she? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Really is. Well, that's a, that's a lot. I was going to check, but there we have another break point here for Kudamatova. So Sabalenka's had a match point, uh, but she's really not giving in. She's digging in there. She's stepped up, hasn't she? The Sabalenka served once this match, but she's got another opportunity here. This is break point number three. Yeah, mate, she's really stepped up. No time like the present. Second serve as well. Oh, it's just dropped over the net. Sabalenka can get it. It's a break. Yeah, he breaks back. Wow. Didn't expect that to happen. So from no. match point, we are now at 5-2 in this second set. How <laughs> weird. That You'd still happened. fancy Sabalenka to clean it up on one of them. I don't know if it's going to be one of her service matches, service games. You'd expect that or she could break back instantly. Um, the last time she broke her, Sabalenka, she's probably her best game she played. She completely yeah. obliterated her. And she's yeah. already up on her feet here, so she's quite keen to get going. We've just passed the one-hour mark on the, on, the, on the clock there. Indeed, mate. They're very uh, interesting if she could actually now... Oh, God, mate, if this falls apart now, this will never hear the end of it. Their confidence will be wrecked. She can't fall apart from this position. I She's had her champ enough opportunities to get this over the line even though it is a it's, point. I think it's final, isn't it yeah championship point went awry mate that's the thing will that go in her head well, she now, the first serve, since she when it when it when, when the going got tough she wasn't finding the first serves the serve got going <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. all kids. yeah weird to see that that part of her game suddenly uh, depart but this happens so often doesn't it with players So, here we go. Time. They're back out on the court. And uh, she's probably going to be enjoying receiving serve more, I'd say. Just have to hope that Kuda oh, Mensah... A few right. second serves here from Kuda Matova, and you'd fancy Sablenka to get this wrapped up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was asking, is it possible for Sab to screw this up? Well, in, in sport, as we all know, anything's possible. I have seen crazy things in the past, but this would be right up there. It would be. Here we are. Kuda oh. Matova to serve. She got the first serve in. Oh. Sabalenka returns. Whoa, winner. She up the winner. <laughs> this is a new revitalised Kuda Matava. Mate, I'm not, I don't think we saw this coming. What's happening? Kuda Matova suddenly... Good, it's good to face a match point to really start playing here. That's bizarre, isn't it? Oh, is it got that? Left. It just, Sabalenka's just... Taking her foot off the pedal a bit. Mm, I don't think so. I think she's just up to her game, mate. I think it's Sabalenka's a little bit of nerves, but not too much. Another, she's still getting her first serve lets back, which is good for her. Yes, yeah, she needs that up. first serve. <laughs> Definitely does. Sabalenka will cream it otherwise. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Easy one. Wasn't even under, under pressure there. I know, and that's just going back. Give three points to Sabalenka. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah, you can't. You can't give any three points to her. She You're already up like, the hill. You're starting to walk up the hill then at that point. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> literally. You're already at the bottom of the hill, usually playing Sabalenka. <laughs> you start getting away three points, you might as well start in the car park. <laughs> literally, mate. 15 all. Oh, what a return. It's long, yeah. and here we go. We're going back to how we were. The second serve, maybe she capitalized on, mate. It's pretty mental. And it's been the running theme. Obviously, she broke early on in this second set. Sabalenka come firing back, and are we going to see the same here? It's a first serve. Is it in? The umpire's just checking. I think it looked very close, and it is yeah, an ace. Yeah, it was, well yeah. done. 
caught the edge of the line. So 30 or what a good time to get get grab an ace and have a nice free point. Very good time. She needs another first serve oh, in. She has oh, brilliant oh, serve. What? Oh She's hit the net cord and gone over. Another championship point for Savalet. What a way. Yeah, that was very lucky. That was a brilliant serve. But how did she return that? How did she get a racket on it? Mate, I mean, it's a bit fortunate. Just clipped the top of the net cord and just fell over. So here we have championship number two. Here we go. Second serve as well. Oh, that's not what the percentages are all against her right now. We don't want to see that, do we? She's going for it still, at least. Right. Cross court. She's kept it in. Oh, it's the pace of this rally is long. Yes, yeah, long. And Sabalenka wins the Abu Dhabi Open. So good. In 2021, she is the first champion on the women's side. And she wins quite convincingly, really. 6 2. 6 2. Uh, she had a match 6 1. Wasn't able to take it. Uh, but she, she just broke straight back afterwards. It was very good, though, and uh, I don't think we'd have. Uh, I don't think it could have gone any other way than that. I think if there was any, if I think if she'd have come back, I would have been sad because to see the capitulation of such an amazing tennis player. So I'm just yeah, really happy for Sabalenka, ninth title, and uh, 15 matches unbeaten now. Yeah, 15? I thought it was yeah. less. No, I three, it was we three tournaments, five wins in each. Okay, yeah, makes yeah, sense. So. Yeah, so pretty crazy. Uh, well, what a player. I mean, uh, thanks for everybody who joined us for that one. I mean, uh, it's now light here, so that's good. So that's always a good sign. Uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing more of these in the coming weeks. We've obviously, got Australian Open coming up. Delray yeah. Beach later well, today. As well, which is going to be before. Um, but yeah, like Ben said, like the video if you've not already. <laughs> subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, for those who's joining us late, uh, sorry, you couldn't join us on the live one, but we'll be doing a Delray Beach later tonight. Hopefully, it's a better time for most people, so we'll have a few more people in the chat. Um, I think it's like 8 p.m., 3 p.m. local time. So, yeah, we'll be doing all of that, and then we'll be covering all the ATP Cup action coming up, and I think we've got a few tournaments in Melbourne before, and then obviously the big one, Australia. Oh, that's my normal alarm going off, mate. <laughs> that's apologies. <laughs> This goes to show what time I normally wake up. Uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say before we go, obviously we we can't not mention uh, our British uh, player who has gotten through to the main draw, which yep. is Francesca Jones. I'm going to bring up uh, her amazing win. Uh, she just went through in emphatic style as well. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, could Gosh. you have even written that? Oh, I know we were talking about it yesterday, and we were saying that this Lou girl is quite good. She's obviously, two hundred in the world. Yeah. Jones two forty one, but we thought it was going to be a tight one. We were both cheering on Jones. I think was she the underdog? No, she was the favourite, wasn't she? But we did yeah. not think it would be that comfortable. Um, it looks like there must have been a few juices though, because it was quite a long. It was an hour hour long match for what? a six five six one. Uh, second set. Well, Maybe yeah, a few more juices here. Yeah, we have got tied in there early on but <laughs> honestly what well, what a credit to her and i'm just so happy now hopefully she gets a nice favorable draw um and i, I really hope she can cause a bit of an upset yeah, come on upset. francesca want to be come on. francesca jones draw sabalenka in the first round which could <laughs> is quite likely to be honest <laughs> oh don't that's not gonna help her out at all come on let's I give her a sabalenka probably get a qualifier so hopefully for francesca's uh case she doesn't draw sabalenka but regardless, I think she's just really grateful she's there in the tournament and um, flying the flag for Britain, to be honest. Indeed, mate. Indeed. Yeah, We've all the best. Much to cheer about over over here in England. So she's no, probably out there with one of the big hopes. <laughs> Indeed, mate. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. No, all the best to Francesca. We're well, we're ecstatic to have uh, have her in the draw. She'll be joining, no doubt, Joanna uh, Joanna Conta, and who uh, we got Heather Watson as well. They're, they'll be there. Uh, and well, you just have to hope that Francesca can get through that first round. We can see a nice run in the Australian Open. But I think we've said enough about that. Thanks to everybody once more. I'm actually thinking I might do a watch along for uh, Antalya. Oh, no, I'm not actually going to do that because it's just finished. I've just had an announcement that Bublik's retired after being two games to love down. 
gosh, what's happening there? I, I think it was the same problem. He was injured in the semi-final. Oh, that's actually kind of, I hate to say, it's actually the best thing that could have happened in a way. Because yeah. imagine if we set up a big stream for it and then it had up to love after all of that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, if you guys join us now, Alex Dimonor has won the other final in Antela through default because uh, Bublik retired. Hopefully the injury is not too bad. I've not seen anything. Uh, no. I'll be sure to watch the highlights now and see what happened. Um, yeah, strange. So Sabalenko won the first final, which Ben uh, rightly predicted before. So I'll give his due there. Well done. I don't think you did predict Alex Dimonor. I think we both had him no. in the final, but we had Berrettini winning. Yeah. Uh, but regardless, Alex Dimonor, Sabalenka, who are we going to see tonight? Between Korda or Perkash. Okay. Yeah. I like well, the finalists, to be fair, both of them. I don't think many people would have called. I know a few people did say corner, but that was probably more sentiment more than uh, their mind, the actual head. Yeah. And for me, I'm going for corner all the way. I would love to see him win. So you need to get your Polish flag out tonight, mate, because I am repping the USA. Well, mate, I uh, probably got some Polish heritage in there somewhere, so I'll uh, have to cheer on it. But I do want to see Korda win his first ATP title, I'm not going to lie. So it would be really nice to see that. So, yeah, I think we should wrap it up there, mate, to be honest. Uh, you yeah, can well, even crack on with work. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I might get another cup of tea, I think. Maybe a coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good idea. Uh, thanks for everyone joining. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Like the video as well. We'll be seeing you later tonight for Delray Beach Final. 3pm uh, local time, 8pm UK time. And yeah, thanks for everything. Well done. Brilliant day for Sabalenka. Another title. Commiserations to uh, Kuda Matova, but she had a brilliant tournament regardless. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see her coming back strong in the Australian Open. But yeah, so, see you soon.